debuting on the Monday, February 26th episode of General Hospital, where she'll portray the newly created character, Natalia Rogers Ramirez. Actress Eva LaRue is no stranger to daytime television, nor is she an unfamiliar face in the halls of the Prospect Studios where the daytime drama tapes in Hollywood. In a recent interview with former Soap Opera Digest editor-in-chief Stephanie Sloan for TV Insider, LaRue talks about her return to daytime after previously portraying Dr. Maria Santos Gray on All My Children and Celeste Rosales on The Young and the Restless, where she won a Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Guest Performer, getting to see some of her former Pine Valley co-stars and what it's like working alongside people she's known for years but had yet to share scenes with on screen until now. First things first. LaRue began taping at the General Hospital studio in January, ironically, the same day as her Cries in the Dark Lifetime movie co-star Adam Harrington, John Cates, who already made his Port Charles debut earlier this month, starting with the Friday, February 2 episode. The first person she saw when she went for her wardrobe fitting was Fanola Hughes, who plays Anna Devane on the soap, but during their days on All My Children, primarily appear as Anna's twin Alex. However, Hughes later appeared as Anna on the then New York-based series. Meanwhile, despite being friends with Nancy Lee Grant, Alexis Davis, for several years, this is the first time they've gotten to work together. Ditto for Morris Bernard, Sonny Corinthos, who previously portrayed Nico Kelly on All My Children, although the two starred on the show during different periods. As for working with the multi-hyphenated actor, LaRue says of Bernard, We've never worked together before, but we're acquaintance friends, she adds, but it felt so legit, so iconic. When I told all my mom friends who are huge General Hospital fans that I had scenes with Sonny, they were like, no way, that was really fun, and our scenes together were great. Meanwhile, as things pertain to her storyline, LaRue notes that she is currently on recurring status with the series but I would love to hang out and recur for as long as they need me or want me. It's such a great place to work. So what exactly brings LaRue's character to Port Charles? Her daughter Blaze, Jacqueline Grace Lopez, is involved in a secret same-sex relationship with Christina Corinthus Davis, Kate Mancy, and Natalia steps in just as the two have recently been intimate, which is a story that might prove familiar to some viewers. Natalia is a very conservative Latina, single mom who raised her daughter to be all of these amazing things, supported her and her talent, and went out of her way to make sure she had all she wanted, explains LaRue of her new character. My first scenes are such chewy material, and I was really grateful for that. Natalia walks in as Blaze is coming out of the shower and Christina is in her bed, so this feels like a major betrayal to her because Blaze has been keeping this big secret. For more from LaRue and what it's like being back in daytime, check out more from her TV Insider interview here. Meanwhile, make sure to watch when she makes her Port Charles debut on the Monday, February 26th episode of General Hospital. Nearly 13 years since the cancellation of All My Children, fan favorite Eva LaRue is returning to ABC, this time playing a new character on General Hospital. According to TV Line, which first reported the news, LaRue is set to hit Port Charles, where she'll appear as Natalia Rogers Ramirez, Blazes, Jacqueline Grace Lopez's mother, starting with the Monday, February 26th episode of the daytime drama series. The outlet shared a first look photo of LaRue shown in a scene from her debut episode, which you can view here. On the show, Blaze is adjusting to her feelings for Christina, Kate Mancy where she's embracing being an out pair after spending much of her life in the closet due to fear over how her sexuality might negatively impact her career and how her family would react to learning about her same-sex attraction. LaRue's casting will see the actress reuniting with some of her former All My Children castmates, including Cameron Matheson, ex Ryan Lavery, who now plays Drew Kane on General Hospital, and Michael E. Knight, ex Tad Martin who plays Martin Gray on ABC's 60-year-old soap opera. Portraying Dr. Maria Santos Gray on All My Children, off and on for 18 years, LaRue joined the cast of The Young and the Restless from 2019 to 2020 and played Celis Rosales, the matriarch of the Rosales family. 
The role won her a Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Guest Performer in a Drama Series during the 47th Annual Daytime Emmy Awards. LaRue was previously nominated two other times. First, for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Drama Series for her portrayal of Maria on All My Children in 1997, and again in 2004 for Outstanding Original Song for the song Dance Again With You. Outside of soaps, LaRue is probably best known for her seven-season run as Natalia Bovista on CSI, Miami, as Linda Lorenzo on George Lopez, or playing Carmen in the UPN comedy Head Over Heels, among other roles. LaRue made a name for herself in 1988 when she joined the cast of NBC's Santa Barbara as Margot Collins, which had Patrick Mulcahy as one of its writers at the time. Mulcahy was recently named co-head writer of General Hospital, working alongside veteran writer Elizabeth Court, who has been with the show since 1994 in various positions ever since, including her most recent role as script editor and the show's historian.